which proves, I think, that Beethoven speaks loudly, more loudly now than he has ever done in the past, and uh, the universal quality that speaks to us, that speaks to the Chinese, that speaks to Africans, um, is particularly vital now because we live in a world which seems to be increasingly a world um, consisting of chaos. To use a phrase of Evelyn Wars, it is chaos that shrieks about our ears. And in a chaotic um, time, such as the one we live in, Beethoven's philosophy of struggle, all his great works, all his works, synthesize chaotic elements, bring them together with the superhuman strength, pull them apart, force them together again into a resolution at the climax of the work which seems to be elemental, indestructible. Beethoven speaks to us in this constructive language more powerfully today than ever before. A case in point, even though it's somewhat dated, uh, occurs in the prologue to my book where I used an incident um, in February of 1978. I happened to be up at Harvard um, researching um, my book on Theodore Roosevelt when Massachusetts disappeared under the worst blizzard in its history. Um, they still talk about it to this day. For three or four days, the entire state and most of the Northeast was inundated in a weight of snow. The, the whole state was paralyzed. No light, no power, no food, no movement, no sound. And on the third day of this paralysis, the sun finally came out. And students emerged from the buildings in Harvard Yard and began to ski across the six-foot deposit of snow. And the sun was shining and the air was bright. I stood up to my hips in snow watching this return of life. And some anonymous person threw open the windows of his dorm uh, room, put a pair of stereo speakers on the windowsill, and blasted out into the sunshine the finale of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Bum, 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 ba -rum, bum, 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 bum. And everybody stood transfixed for the 10 minutes that this music lasted. And when it ended with 48 thunderclaps of C major, quite a few of us were crying. It just seemed, I don't know what possessed this person to play that music, but nothing so perfectly expressed the feeling we all shared. Look, we have come through. We were buried. We have emerged. Thank, Thank you. you.